Hi everyone, let us discuss this result. In this result, we have a series summation n. Given that summation n is a convergent series, c is any real number and we have to prove that summation c n is also convergent. So with the help of sequence of partial sum, we are going to prove the result. Since we know that if the series is convergent, sequence of partial sum is convergent and if the sequence of partial sum is convergent, corresponding series is also convergent, right? So I'm considering let S n be a sequence of partial sum of series summation n, right? See, that means S n is nothing but sum of first n terms of that series. So therefore, we can write, therefore, S n is equal to a1 plus a2 plus and so on a n. Here we have very important information that is summation n is a convergent series. Let me write that thing here. So here summation n is convergent. So this series is convergent and it converges to some point. Okay. So and let me mention summation n is equal to a n running from 1 to infinity. It is not given. So we are considering it converges to a, but the series is convergent. That means definitely it converges to some point and I'm calling it as a. Okay. So if the series is convergent, you know that the sequence of partial sum corresponding sequence of partial sum, which is S n that is also convergent. So therefore, let me mention, therefore, sequence S n is convergent and converges to the same point a. The same thing we can write in this way limit n tends to infinity s n is equal to a okay so the same thing we can write in this way and i am calling it as one so let us go further now what we have to prove we have to prove that that series summation c n is also convergent so let us consider one sequence of partial sum and let us prove that it is convergent so therefore the corresponding series is also convergent let uh, consider here let t n b a sequence of partial sum sequence of partial sum of series summation c a n so you know the meaning of that that is t n is equal to sum of first n terms of this series that means c a 1 plus c a 2 plus c a 3 plus and so on the last nth term will be c a n what will i do i will take c common so that's why we will have c in bracket a1 plus a2 plus and so on n. Tell me, have you seen it anywhere that bracket? Yes, that is nothing but our sn. So let me write it here. So this is equal to c sn. Now what will I do? I will take limit on both sides, limit n tends to infinity. So therefore, let us see what will happen. Limit n tends to infinity tn, c is constant. So it will come outside the limit, okay, sn, limit sn. But what is value of limit S n and tends to infinity its value is a. So let me write it here. So C a I should mention from one. So it means it means the sequence T n is convergent and converges to C a getting sequence of partial sum T n is convergent and converges to C a. Therefore, the corresponding series is also convergent and converges to the same point. So therefore, series therefore series what is its corresponding series summation c a n is convergent and converges to the same point that means summation c a n is equal to a c a sorry c a n running from 1 to infinity series is convergent and converges to point c a so we write in this way getting so let me write it properly c yeah this is equal to c but what is value of a getting so a is nothing but summation n so that thing i can put right there so summation n n running from 1 to infinity so what we get finally we get that series summation c a n is convergent that means this part is over now and further we prove that summation c a n is equal to c summation n that means this part is also done okay so in this way we prove this result make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye